You want to make a transformed butterfly? Butterfly! Dominic, would you like to decorate a butterfly? Lay a butterfly out and use all of the pieces, the gems and the body, but not the string and the little blue piece to decorate your butterfly. Did you know that God transforms us? How does he even do that? He transforms us into rescue bots. <laughs> he doesn't quite transform us into rescue bots, but he transforms us out of our sin. Out? Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? They said this to test him so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. Wow. Yeah. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, woman, where are they? No one has condemned you? She replied, no one, sir. Then Jesus said, neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. It's like the Pharisees and the Sadducees brought somebody who was not transformed yet by Jesus, kind of like a caterpillar is not transformed yet. And the caterpillar is in the cocoon, just like the woman was there surrounded by all the other people, and they brought her to the center of it. And it's, and it's like a cocoon. Yeah. And then when Jesus was done, he said, go and sin no more. He was, she was cleansed. She was, she was beautiful again. She was whole. She was holy. She was going out and not committing sin anymore. She was transformed. And that's what God does to us. We all make mistakes. We all do things that we shouldn't do. Dominic, do you sometimes do things you shouldn't do? But does mommy and daddy still love you? And we ask you to say you're sorry and that you won't do it again. And we tell you, go and sin no more. Well, what we tell you is... Don't do that again. Don't do that again. <laughs> being a Christian is all about transformation in Christ. We're constantly being transformed. It's not just a one-time thing. We're transformed over and over. I kind of like how you're working on that butterfly is how God works on us. He's constantly making little adjustments to how we are through grace, and through the sacraments, and through the reading of scripture, and by doing Catholic Christ with Claire. And Dominic. And Dominic. And, and Catherine. Catherine. <laughs> Do you have a happy butterfly? My happy butterfly. <laughs> this one's for Claire. Cool. Then we can put on the back of Claire's. Good job. So that you can put it inside your cocoon. So we're gonna roll it up and stick your butterfly in. And can you pull this one out? Yeah. <laughs>